Hi Pisces, happy Thanksgiving. Just gonna do an energy reading for today. Please like and subscribe. God bless the people that I that have. I appreciate you so much. I think it's pretty obvious why the Three of Cups came out today. Today is a special day. Um, it's one of celebration. It's one of being with family and friends and people that you love. I do see that it's going to be smaller groups. It's not going to be, for some people, it's not going to be the large groups that they used to have, which is to be expected, you know, with the whole COVID thing and the pandemic. Um, but I see here that your group is coming together and you guys are in celebratory mood. You guys are you know what, we made it, we got through this. Some of us are not that great. Some of us are doing okay. I see someone in particular that, you know, maybe got lucky around this COVID time. Don't know if it's you, don't know if it's one of your uh, family members or friends, but it it is a time for celebration with the people that do love you and care about you and that you care about them. I also see that with the three of swords in reverse, it's telling me that, I feel like you're putting the petty stuff aside for today. So if you're visiting family or friends that you've had issues with, you're saying, you know what, I'm going to put it to the side. They kind of hurt me with their words or what they did, but I'm going to put it to the side. That's why it's in reverse. And you're saying, I'm going to enjoy the day. I think we all kind of deserve to enjoy today and, you know, just be grateful that we're all still here and alive. The people that are alive and still here. Yeah, the two of pentacles. I also feel like it's putting the petty stuff away. I think on a normal basis, this two of pentacles would be upright and you would be, you or your family and friends would be kind of like uh, judging the situation, judging what's going on, apples, oranges, what's this, and that, you know, like comparing, like a comparison. But I feel like today you're putting that stuff to the side and that's why they're both reversed. You're putting all that pain and all that, those feelings to the side and you're gonna enjoy the day with a small group of your family members. Ten of Swords in reverse. Magician card. Eight of Wands. Ooh. Okay. And the Queen of Cups. Okay, I guess I spoke too soon. Um, okay, so first of all, with the Ten of Swords, let's get to the decent part. I feel like a lot of you are catching up on some sleep. Like last night, maybe you didn't have to work this morning. Maybe, you know, you went out or you did something last night that you celebrated and you actually got this really heavy sleep, you know, like where you woke up late and you're like feeling good this morning. And I see the Magician card kind of flows with that. Like there's this you know, like magical day. Today is the day. It's it's a good feeling. It's a good vibe. Your intentions are good going into this. But now I see the problem, unfortunately. So I see the eight of wands here. And I feel like you need to be careful because as much as you're saying that you want to put this uh, issue to the side, yeah, I don't think it's going to be that simple. The Eight of Wands is telling me that you might get into some type of argument, altercation, or uncomfortable situation with another family member and, or friends. I don't know, but uh, some group. And I feel like one of you is going to try to um, understand that today is not the day for that, but another one of you is not. The other one is going to come in hot like these wands and try to throw daggers and throw wands at you, basically. Yeah, I think it's the other person, Pisces. I'm starting to feel like it's the other person. So B, I guess you, you don't really want to. You want to enjoy the day, like this energy up here. And then going into it, you're feeling great. And then it's like some sh shit is coming your way. 
So then I have the Queen of Cups here. And the Queen of Cups is telling me that someone is going to kind of hold back. And I feel like that might be you, Pisces. You're going to hold back. You're hurt. The things that they're going to say or do to you, especially today, is going to hurt you. But I feel like you're kind of trying to embody this Queen of Cups energy where it's like you kind of know who you are and you know what you've done and you, you're you not going to take the nonsense from anyone. But that doesn't mean you're going to fight back. And it's not because you're weak. It's because you don't want that energy today. You want to be happy today. You want to enjoy your cups, you know, your drinks. You want to, you know, the, enjoy the fact that you're still standing after this crazy year. And you do love these people. And it does show because you're willing to put stuff to the side to make it magical. But there's something coming your way. But I have a feeling, Pisces, that you are um, going to be the higher person, the more mature person, and the more enlightened person where you know better not to engage with the foolery or the nonsense because you're like, no, I just, I'm not, that's not my energy. That's not my vibe. That's not what I want to do. Five of Cups in reverse. Yeah, that's not what you want to do. The Five of Cups is in reverse because it's saying, you know, you don't want to focus on the negative today. That's why it's in reverse. Like, you want to look at the positive. Your energy coming into this gathering for Thanksgiving today is one of let's be positive people. Let's, you know, see how many people out there are not okay. What we went through, what this person went through. And look, we're still okay. And we're here. And we have our family. And we have our, our people. We got food. We're okay. Or let's not bring the pettiness. Or even some stuff I see that's not so petty. It was very hurtful. But you still don't want to bring that into the situation. So, okay. All right, I see. Um, all right, so I'm just getting a lot of information. I'm trying to get the words out. Um, all right, Five of Swords in reverse. I think it's going to be a challenge for you, Pisces. Someone's going to try you. Someone's going to try you. You see how this is like, you know, someone's going to try to provoke you. And I see that you and that's you in the background, you know, trying to walk away from it and try and maybe even getting hurt and starting to cry from it. But somebody's going to provoke you. And I feel like you're trying to be the bigger person. And that's why it's in reverse. I feel like you don't want to engage. You don't want to, you know... You, you might though that's why it's in reverse because you might engage you might engage you might not be able to keep your mouth shut so that's one of your challenges Pisces because I see you're going to go back and forth from like let me stay on my throne and not get down to that petty level and then I see you here like what would you say you know like okay you want to make things clear you want to spit out some facts let's do it Ooh. And then I see this person here with the Page of Wands in reverse. The Page of Wands to me is always this person that's kind of like certain of themselves and they're kind of a little full of themselves. But I feel like that's all a lie and it's like insecurities. So that's why it's in reverse. It's like they want the image of like, okay, we're good. I, I look good and I'm good. And I feel like that's not true. It's like they say and they overdo things because they're really not. Then we have the Knight of Swords that is ready to attack that, that fake Page of Wands. So I don't know, Pisces. I'm getting this energy of like, you're going to be cool. You want a good time. 
someone's going to try you and then you might go but you're kind of battling it like i don't know i don't i don't want to go there but i might have to i might have to check a person and put them in their place because they're speaking out of line to me without facts and then i see this person with this energy of fakeness so then we got the knight of swords there ready to attack okay i mean your intentions were starting off so good pisces but someone's trying you are you gonna let this person get to you i don't know it keeps flip-flopping back and forth. Like you want to, you're not going to, but then you said, I'm going to do it. And you could just be getting on each other's nerves. I do see something with the nerves. Beyond illusion. We are the world. We're gonna start there. Yeah, there it is. Beyond illusion, Pisces. I feel like this is you, and you're gonna have to keep trying to find your Zen and find your peace, your Wusa. And you're this is yeah, this is exactly where you're gonna go. You one minute you wanna flip, and the next minute you're like let me breathe. Let me acknowledge that these people haven't, this person has an issue or these people have an issue and I'm above all this stuff. I have direction in my life. I don't want to fight today. I want to be grateful for the day. So I see you here trying to calm your mind down, trying not to flip on a person, even though they may deserve it. I don't know if there's a way to communicate what it is you need to communicate without them lashing at you, lashing out at, at you. We got the We Are the World card here, like more kumbaya, keep the peace vibe, especially for today. It's like more of a focus of, you know, the bigger picture in life. You, like, you are actually here with people that you do care about, where there's a lot of families this Thanksgiving that will not be. So I see you trying. I think you can do it. Oof, it's hard though, especially when people are trying to spit, you know, attacks at you and, and not facts and just being a one-sided perception of, of what's going on. They don't see your side of it, nor honestly do they care. But so that makes you feel the need to defend yourself. Like, I, I have a feeling, I have feelings too, and what you're saying is not true, and it hurts. So, that's why you're the Queen of Cups there, sitting there like, yeah, I've been hurt. But I'm trying to stay on my throne. Not be petty. Understood. Wow, what what a beautiful ending card. We got understanding, Pisces. So you can see that card real up close. Understanding. See, it's like a picture of this bird. And this bird doesn't really know how to get out of it, but the other birds are waiting for that bird. Like, come on, just do this. Maybe move your feathers, move your wing. You can get out of it. So I feel like it's a message for you, Pisces, saying... There needs to be a level of understanding, especially amongst people that you care about. You need to be able to see the perspective of someone else in order to encourage them to get out of that bad situation. It's gonna take some understanding, a lot of patience, a lot of calm. Don't stoop to their level of yelling and throwing out hurtful words. Communicate. 
Learn how to communicate with that person if need be today. Tell them you love them. Tell them you come in peace. And you just want to see all sides and perspectives. And maybe, honestly, Pisces, there might be a, pi a perspective you're missing. So I see this as a card of unity. And when you communicate and have a clear understanding of how the other person feels, then you can fly. You can get out of that stuck situation and you can go and join your tribe. All right, Pisces, happy Thanksgiving. I hope this reading helped. Please like and subscribe and thank you.